All right, YouTube Linux gamers, I'm coming at you with a little helpful, uh, little helpful piece of software that I found uh, recently. The software is called Piper. Um, in part two of the Linus Tech Tips Linux Challenge, uh, they discuss uh, gaming-specific peripherals that have uh, manufacturer-supplied device drivers to control things like DPI and RGB and how that support is lacking in Linux. And while that is certainly true for a lot of peripherals, there are solutions out there that I'm aware of that I kind of wanted to share. Um, so Piper is a really interesting piece of software that allows you to control these sorts of things in Linux for a variety of peripherals. And I've actually had some really good luck with it. I've downloaded it this week. Um, this is the GitHub page for Piper. Pretty nice UI here. Some instructions building from source, although uh, I believe that this is actually available um, from Flathub. Uh, that's how I got it. So I just got it straight from my software center. Um, they have a list of uh, supported devices here. Quite a few uh, by Logitech, that's well represented. I guess it depends on your taste. Um, so generally what I do when I'm shopping for peripherals uh, on Linux is I'll do a little bit of reading out there just to see what kind of experience other people have. So. I was looking at the Logitech G600 and I uh, found that it was uh, supported with this piece of software. Went ahead and bought the G600 and it's been flawless. Um, if you're on Razer products, there is something called Open Razer, which provides uh, Linux drivers for a lot of their peripherals. So that could be an option for you as well. Let's take a look at Piper and see what it's got to offer. All right, so you can see I can control my polling rate as well as my DPI. I can map macros to all of these buttons. And I can even change my RGB. So yeah, there's definitely options available in Linux. I uh, just kind of wanted to share this, make some people aware. Maybe you've got some peripherals that would work with Piper uh, and you're looking for an easy way to control all this stuff. Uh, I also installed OpenRGB this week and I'm using that to control my RGB. Uh, I might make a quick video showing that as well. Just thought I would put this out there. Hope it's helpful to somebody. All right, you guys enjoy. Happy computing. Later.